How do you manipulate people to make them do what you want at will? Now let me preface this. This is very dangerous. You can put people in very dangerous scenarios where it's not in their best interest. So I implore you to use this with caution because believe me, if you use this the wrong way, it can be taken to extremes that is going to result in the net loss of many people. And maybe your gain. You can manipulate someone to take control of their life. Regardless, these dark arts are to be used with caution. Everything is a tool. There is a hammer which can be used to build houses or it can be used to kill people. So you have to use this with caution. Promise me that. Now if you promise, let's go. Number one, push and pull people. If you watched any movie, you will see that they have used push and pull, push and pull to keep you engaged. They will push you away from the plot, making you confused and they will pull you back in, making you think that you know everything. So this is what you do with people as well. You push people away from you. So they will wonder why did you push them away? And you are in their brain a lot. And, and in order for them to make contact with you again, here's what you do. You pull them, but there is a catch. You have to do something if you want to be in my presence again. For instance, let's say there's a girl that you like and you want her to think about you. You want her to be attracted to you. Here's what you do. You first go ahead and talk to her right? It's really good. You talk to her like a normal person, but then you leave the conversation abruptly. You push her away and go and talk to another girl, but you give her more focus, more attention, and make sure the other girl sees it. Now, when she sees it, she's going to be like, is she hotter than me? That he decided to go there, and your value instantly goes up a notch in her eyes. Then she's going to try and talk to you, but if she does not, you keep on talking to other people, then go and talk to her again and give her this hint that she is great. But then again, pull yourself back and go and talk to another girl. And the more you do this, the more she sees that you are a higher value and you are not playing around. And if she is going to get you, she has to put in some effort and she starts pursuing you, which is, as you can see, you can turn the entire dynamic on its head. And this is very dangerous. But done rightly, you can find the perfect life partner. But don't use this to get short-term dates here and there because even if you do sleep around with hundreds of women, it's only going to drain you, not the hundreds of women. So use this with caution. Number two, use leverage. Now this can be very insidious because people use this every single day, but it can be taken to a very, very dark extent, which means blackmail and everything. I'm going to give you the lighter version of this. So leverage, let's say you talk with your boss, right? And you find out that he or she is doing some dirty deeds and cleaning up some money or whatever in the back that is not conducive to the overall benefit of the organization that you're working in. Let's say that's the case. Now, any normal person would do one or two things. He or she would either keep quiet about it so they don't want to offend their boss. Number two, they tell on their boss, neither of which is productive. What you can do is hint at your boss that you can divulge this information and you get more leverage because he or she knows that you have this information on her and you can expose her. And what does she do? She gives you favors. Now you have to do this rightly because she can get you fired as well. And make sure that you are a competent individual in your workforce as well because if you're easily replaceable, you are going to be replaced easily. But if you have some skills that make you valuable to the team and yet you have some dirt on your boss you can use this to gain advantages you can use this to get promotions really really faster and other people will be wondering how did she or he do that but these two are just the basics and if you want to learn more advanced strategies you know what to do you know how you can keep up with us manipulation is a double-edged sword it can cut you or you can use it to cut your competitors down Whatever you do, just make sure that you err on the side of caution. Nobody's going to teach you this because nobody is willing to get canceled. But hey-ho, I have no face. I'm the stranger. I will teach you things because, let's be honest, we live in a world where your greatest enemy is your friend and your greatest fan is going to be a stranger on the internet. And I am the stranger.